Hello guys, this is Paul Velascora from Laravel Daily Team and YouTube channel Laravel Business and today I have a demo for you with free GitHub repository. Here you see bootstrap theme called the event or the event net, it's a typo here probably, and we decided to transform that into a Laravel project. So while working with our quick admin panel generator, we decided to move out of the admin panel space and decide to create more demo projects of full projects like front-end and back-end. And for that, I found a few bootstrap themes, and this is one of them. So imagine conference event page. Uh, actually, we can check live preview here. Uh, and this is like one event, one day or a few days event, and here you have event information, speakers, schedule, venue, some gallery, hotels, sponsors, FAQ, uh, prices, and some more information. So a pretty big page, and I thought, why not make it customizable? So uh, this would be not Bootstrap, but Laravel front-end page, and then uh, the admin panel would be generated for managing all of that. So ask, I asked one of the teammates, Marius, hi Marius, if you're watching this video, uh, just to, to transform that. So this is the result. Uh, this is my local uh, homestead and this is the new name Laravel. And th this looks exactly like the, the initial theme with one difference. If you go to the same login, it will open admin panel for that. And if you go to login, admin, admin, password as our default credentials for quick admin panel, you will see this. So everything here is editable. Uh, we transformed more, mostly majority of main stuff into settings. So for example, if you want to change for the event, uh, like the address, 10, 12, December, this one, it's, it's called subtitle. So key value pairs for settings. So let's change that to 1013, save, and let's see if it's refreshed on the home page. Okay, that is done. And let's see 1013, yep, it is working. So basically all the text and all, for example, YouTube link uh, could be transformed to something else. Uh, so almost anything. Uh, and for that, we created all those menu items. It's basically eloquent models, each of them, and added quick admin panel on top of that to manage, like, for example, speakers, uh, schedule with and all the links. Schedule is by day. So it was pretty hard to come up with a structure for all of that. So day number, for example, is a number integer field. Uh, titles and subtitles are dummy data with faker. And we actually added a seed. For that seed uh, seed files and let's take a look at the code first sublime uh, i've opened in sublime the initial bootstrap theme version so it's just a big index html file with some css and with style css as the main style, style sheet file instead of that you have our laravel project which is this basically we copied and pasted that into blade uh, with includes and if you go to for example intro blade it will have settings, it will have variables. If there is a YouTube link, there will be a YouTube uh, icon, otherwise there won't be shown any YouTube. Uh, and everything comes from home controller. Basically you're doing all, uh, everything from the database and it goes into the blade, uh, into each include. So for example, for speakers blade, actually let's open speakers, just for each of speakers with photos, and for seeds, we did database seeds uh, with a lot of those seeders. So if you go, some of them are for admin panel, for quick admin panel, but for example, settings table seeder, key value pairs for those, uh, then speakers, uh, something with faker, but some pretty real data, and a lot of those. Uh, so everything is available on uh, GitHub. This time I won't be live coding that because the project is already created. So usually I do on this YouTube channel live coding of something, but uh, this time it's already created. So I won't, I will save you some time so you would be able to download the project, clone and do whatever. So you can use that as a as a tutorial maybe how how things could be structured in uh, in Laravel and in Blade and in admin panel or you can use that as a project for your next event, customizing everything, include like background, uh, 
anything transform the theme from just bootstrap HTML and CSS into Laravel project. So this is the URL. Actually, I will also include that in, in YouTube description. Start this repository, clone it, do whatever you want. It's free. And check out our quick admin panel, which can be a helper to generate something like this for the project. That's it. See you guys in other videos.